everyone. I hope you're all safe and healthy and well and not losing your mind completely in this uh, crazy time we have in the world right now. Um, if you're like me, you might be in like self-isolation. Um, and everyone knows the situation all over the world. So anyway, we don't have to get into it. So I thought it would just be fun. Also, it would give me uh, a project to kind of work on, would be to make a video about skincare because it's something that I really like. And disclaimer from the beginning, I'm not a dermatologist. It's just something that I like to do. Um, and I have kind of a bad habit of accumulating a lot of skincare products if you're if you know me you yeah anyway these are just the things that i use and i thought it would just be fun to to uh make a little video about it why not in this uh time when i need to stay inside and do nothing anyway so there are many factors that go into your skin right like having good clear clean skin um there's so many different things it's not just the products that you use and i was watching someone else's skincare video the other day and she said something really nice she was like i think we need to be careful watching these videos because sometimes we think we just buy it and then it works um so it's not the case so you have like skin types that were all different you have the climate that you live in you have just genetics some people are born with different you know genetics regarding their skin um, and some are luckier than others. I was, I'm pretty fortunate. I have had pretty clear skin always, but I do have sensitive skin and it's pretty dry. Also you have the whole clean beauty versus non-clean, uh, meaning like natural, organic, non-toxic versus um, the other side. Um, I fall somewhere in the middle, as you'll see in a second. A friend of mine uh, said, okay, so what do we get from this video if we don't have the products they're using? She was like, I mean, I will enjoy to watch it, but what will I take from this video? So I, I think three things. One is layering, how to layer your products in the right way. So that can be whatever products that you have that you use. Two is uh, facial massage. So if you like don't do anything with your skin, you wash your face and you maybe put on a moisturizer. So then maybe this can give you like some other ideas of, of products to, to acquire. But if you just want to stick with what you have, then maybe you can just um, incorporate like some face massage into your routine. And the last thing is just like maybe some general knowledge about what each category of product does for your skin even though i don't know if i have so much information for you but maybe something you don't already know so first step in the shower i used a cleanser um this one is from pie a uh, light work rosehip cleansing oil i think that this is organic completely um if if not it's like almost so this is an oil cleanser made from rosehip oil which i really like in general um so this you put on dry skin three pumps and then you just massage and it gets like really kind of oily um because it's an oil and then you can massage your face a bit or whatever just slap it on and like it really dissolves all the dirt and makeup if you wear makeup or whatever and then you wash it off um or wipe it off with a towel um, I've used many different cleansers, like gel cleansers. Um, you hear my washing machine? I don't know how much this is. I think it's like pretty reasonably priced. Um, it's glass, so it's just nice to use in general. But I think oil cleansers are amazing if you have dry skin. Okay, so we get out of the shower and I have been using rose water. Like any rose water is nice, so I just spray that on. So in general, with layering products, you wanna go from thinnest to thickest. The consistency of the product, like the molecule size, should be small to big. So that means like you wouldn't put 
something like watery texture over something really creamy and rich because then it won't be able to go through each other. So you want to go from most liquidy to richer and richer and creamier. After I do that, I'm going to take this off. After I spray with rose water, I'm usually doing some kind of toner or like exfoliant. So you have two different kinds of exfoliants, which is basically going to take the dead skin and the, kind of the top layer of your skin off um, so that your like cells can regenerate on the surface. So you have physical and chemical. Physical is like when you use a scrub and then chemical is a chemical. So actually chemical sounds scary, but I find it much less um, harsh. Uh, well, this one's new to me. This is by Pixie. It's the Glow Tonic. It's 5% glycolic acid. This one is Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. Um, and it's an all-in-one lactic acid treatment. So they're different. This one's more watery. This one's more creamy. This is more like a serum. Um, this one is expensive. Um, so, you know, judge whether you want to spend, I don't know how much this is, like a lot of money on it. Um, that's up to you, but it's the only product that is this expensive that I repurchase over and over and over because I think it's that good. I think I'll try this one just because I'm newer to it. Uh, this one is, is pretty inexpensive. You can buy it um, at most like drugstore, super farm. I just use this on a cotton pad. And then you wanna avoid your eyes. And you're just, I like to kind of pat it in. So yeah, just kind of soak your face with this. It's called the Glow Tonic because the chemical exfoliant is kind of working off that like dull, dead, layer of the skin on top and is like supposed to make you glow and definitely with this one you feel like um not a burning but like a tingling sensation so that was like the toner exfoliant part this is serum um so basically this is there are different serums for different things i think serum is where you're actually targeting the problem of your skin whether it be acne prone whether it be um, hyperpigmentation, whether it be dryness, which is for me. So I'm using a serum that's for hydration, although I think specifically um, this one is good for everyone. This one is a one that I really like. It's by La Roche-Posay. Um, it's the Hyalu B5 serum. Hyalu. It's hyaluronic acid and vitamin B5. I've bought this for multiple friends for their birthdays. It's, you can get it in most drugstores. I think it's like around 20 to $25, um, maybe a bit more, but it, it's not like, maybe that sounds like a lot, but in skincare, it's pretty reasonable. So, and I think it works really, really well. So I definitely recommend this. So we put like a few drops in there and then we press it in and then we're gonna leave that for like a minute. So next we're moving on to face moisturizer. Um, this one, as you can see, has been very well loved and it's not my first one and I have another one already in there as a backup. Um, this is Waleda's Skin Food Light. Um, this is 100% organic, um, certified natural skincare. They have the also the original skin food, which I think is way too um, thick and kind of greasy for the face. I think it's amazing for like elbows, um, like any other dry patches, but on the face, it's like a bit too much for me, I think. So, and I like like rich moisturizer. So they came out with a light version, which is really nice. I managed to get like a little more out of here. now and just slap that on I really love this moisturizer it gives like a lot of 
glow and like dewiness to the face, which is a look I really like. Okay, and you could stop here. Um, so you could do like, I don't know, face mist, toner, serum, moisturizer. So we're getting thicker. Um, and you could stop there or, you know, whatever. You decide what you want to use. Um, but if you want to go an extra step, there's face oil. So this is the same oil that was in the face cleanser. It's rosehip oil. Um, so this is from The Ordinary. This is really inexpensive. If you can get your hands on this company, The Ordinary, um, it's really, really, really good skincare ingredients for really inexpensive prices. So if you can uh, find this, um, I highly recommend if you want to start um, like incorporating more products into your um, kind of regimen but you don't want to spend a lot of money then this would be the way to go. 100% organic cold pressed road, road, rose hip seed oil. Um, so I'm taking like maybe three drops. If, if this was nighttime and I was sleeping maybe five or six and I warm this up in my hands and then again I'm just pressing and that's basically it now comes the face massage if you want to of course I don't do this every day um, but it is something <clears throat> whoa it is something nice to do so the tool that I use for face massage is this <clears throat> it's a jade um, a gua sha tool, which is like uh, comes from Chinese medicine. You can also use this um, on the body. Uh, they have like bigger tools, like to kind of work through sore muscles and stuff. So basically, they there's this is just one I got from Amazon. And basically, what you're doing is draining out um, the lymph nodes in your face. You have many lymph nodes in different areas and you wanna drain them out so it's like de-puffing your face and anyway, it just feels good. You can also put this in the refrigerator or freezer and that's really nice. So you wanna move outwards. If you don't have this tool, you can just use your fingers. You can even use your knuckles or just, I don't know, however you wanna do it. I think in general, just massage your face. Just get the blood going, get your circulation, doesn't matter. Not pressing too hard. Also out here on the cheekbone, you'll see like it gets a little bit red. Also here. And you can just do this with your fingers or your hands if you don't have this uh, tool. And then I flip it on this edge and I go here along the jaw. Also, you can feel like tiny little, almost feels like rocks in there where it's really tight. And then I just take it down here to drain the lymph nodes two thumbs here. Well, I saw a Korean model on Vogue do this and now I love to do it all the time. And then two fingers around the orbital bone of your eyes. that's it so um, I hope this video was maybe interesting or just fun to watch it was kind of fun for me to make it um, yeah and you can write in the comments uh, if there's something else maybe like skincare related I mean these are the products I'm using now but I have other ones that I like or that I finished before um, I don't know if you want to request maybe 
a different video, you can let me know. Also let me know like what you do, what is your like, uh, you know, skincare routine. Also, especially these days when we have a lot of time to ourselves inside, maybe it's nice just to pamper ourselves a little bit. So thanks for watching and yeah, bye.